Good morning, little nerds. I am multitasking. I'm Dr. Shereen Idris. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am genuinely in a massive rush, but I was not going to miss this week's Pillow Talk Germ for you guys, so welcome. We're going to discuss the best moisturizers for summer, depending on your skin type, in your environment. And that is the biggest takeaway from this video. This is the first time in my life I put rollers in my hair. My mom bought these for me 10 years ago. When I got married, I don't know what kind of ideas she had in her head, but I decided because I have an event today, let me give them a try. This is going to be a disaster. I think I will take them off by the end of the video because I need to leave them on for 15 minutes. So let's go. So let's talk about moisturizers and your skin type. Do my lips look dry? Mm, a little bit. It's okay. When you are thinking of a moisturizer, the classic way of thinking about a moisturizer is your skin type. Am I oily? Am I dry? But the biggest thing that you are missing is your environment because your skin is a living and breathing organism. It is constantly evolving if you are in a dry environment or if you're in a humid environment. A small micro example is the airplane. It is so dry in an airplane and everybody reacts slightly differently. So before we go into the moisturizers themselves, I'm going to break up this video very simplistically into dry skin and oily skin. Dry skin in a dry environment versus dry skin in a humid environment, moving on to oily skin in a dry environment, followed by oily skin in a humid environment, because all are not created equal. So let's start with dry in a dry environment. Last year I went to Utah. I nearly exploded, imploded. It was so dry and I was very ill prepared. I did not realize how dry it was in Utah. So, and I have slightly dry skin. If you are somebody who has dry skin in a dry environment, you definitely need to, that's my son. Nathan, close the door, please. Yeah. Thank you. You definitely need to layer, 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 starting with lightest serum moisturizer. What is lightest? Lightest is an essence or a mist. Now, essences are glorified mists. I used did a video for SK2 when Nusha was sponsored. What I wanted to really say in that video is I actually love this product, genuinely so, not because they paid. But the reason why I love SK2 is because it allows your other humectants and your other hydrating products to penetrate deeper. It's a great primer for people with dry skin, especially in a dry environment, to hold on and to retain moisture. I just think it's bloody expensive. I hate the dropper. It's such a waste. So instead, I put it into this little spritzer and I spritz away. <laughs> I just kind of wasted to show you guys, but I spritz away before I do anything else. And the little spritz goes a very long way compared to putting 50 droppers in your hand and wasting like 20 valuable dollars each time you do that. So that is one thing you could do. You can also make your own glycerin based mist, getting basically 100% vegetable glycerin, mixing it with water and allowing this to be your hydrating mist. Because if you're just using regular thermal water, it's not holding on to anything and it's going to evaporate in a dry environment, making you dryer in the process, especially if you do not lock it in. Following the mist, we use a hydrating serum. Coco Kind is one that I actually discovered in Utah when I was there because it really helped me. It is loaded with ceramides. It is a rich but not too rich hydrating serum that's gonna help restore your skin barrier and it does not have hyaluronic acid. Regarding HA, you're gonna get it in other steps of your routine. You do not need it as a specific step. And then we go into moisturizers, rich, yummy, chewy, chunky, <laughs> classics, triple lipid by SkinCeuticals. Clearly, I've used it. Just beware, if you have sensitive skin, there are essential oils. It might be a little bit irritating. Another that I love, shoot, I used it too, is Glossier's, Glossier's Balm Cocon. Cocon? Cocoon? Cocon after boom. I don't know. But basically, this guy, I will link it. It is rich, it is thick, it is lovely in consistency. I just want to like dip my body in this. J'adore. And then, because memory is our memories, and this reminds me if anybody grew up in Europe or Middle East, Kiri, the Kiri cheese. Not the laughing cow. The Kiri has a different foil on the cheese. The Nivea. Nivea, and I just love doing that, is just my childhood in a oh god my makeup oh that's my aromatherapy love Nivea now I have way too much on my hands give me a hot second so I can reset I'm wearing a jumpsuit so I can't wipe my hands on my legs all right 
So that is the moisturizers for dry skin in a dry environment. Now, if you are dry in a humid environment, so think Caribbean, think Mediterranean, think Florida, okay? If you're dry in Florida, where you're just like FML, my hair is wet the second I walk out of the house, you still need to hydrate, but you don't need so much. And the fact is, if you put too much, the, like for the dry people in dry environments, you're gonna feel like something's sitting on your face and it's gonna defeat the purpose because it's not going to get absorbed because the air is very humid. So what you do need to do is just use an essence or a hydrate or a mist followed by a lightweight gel moisturizer. And I'm gonna to explain to you guys, when you're gonna use the essence, you can literally do the exact same thing, the SK2. I think the glycerin mist essence is also fine to use. This is an area of the world where you can actually just use a thermal water mist, okay? Because it's gonna stay on your face and not necessarily evaporate as much. If you're looking for something with more benefits, then I will tell you that La roche Posay Cica Plus B5 is another nice spray. But if you're in a humid environment and you don't wanna layer too much on your face and you're just trying to do, okay, mist, moisturizer, sunscreen, this is where Pillow Talk Durham is amazing. Full disclosure, I own the brand. But the reason it's amazing is that it's a gel moisturizer. So it's still going to quench your thirst in a humid environment. And it comes with vitamin C. So you do not need to layer serums and moisturizers and feel like things are sitting on your face, even though you're dry. So it gives you the right amount of hydration in a humid environment and the benefits of vitamin C in one before your sunscreen. But if you tell me, Shireen, I love using my vitamin C serum, self-care, I'm all about that life, then use your vitamin C serum and use Ombriolise, which will act as a primer. This is a trick that a lot of makeup artists have used over the years. It's a French moisturizer. I do love the scent of it, I'm not going to lie. And you can use it underneath your sunscreen and it acts like a primer as well. Now, we're talking about oily skin in a dry environment. So you're oily in Utah, Ugh, the worst, because it's dry and you're oily and you're like, why do I need to moisturize? You do need to moisturize because the air is gonna confuse your skin and trick it into thinking it needs to make more oil. And so you do need to do it very lightly. So what you should do is basically just layer one thing, and this is not to promote myself, but it obviously is something that I've created with this in mind. Vitamin C, gel moisturizer, oily in a dry environment. It will give you the hydration that you need. You can put this, sunscreen, you're done. If you tell me, I don't care, I'd like to put the vitamin C, fine, use that. I also then would substitute the Aveeno Common Restore. There's no vitamin C in this, so you'll need a vitamin C serum in the morning. This is a gel-based moisturizer which is very nice and lightweight, but at the same time, not overpowering or overbearing. And one I recently discovered is Skin Iceland, which is a cooling daily lotion. It is interesting, the pump sucks, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna show you guys though, <laughs> clearly not sponsored. The texture of this is lovely. It is exactly like the Aveeno, but more elegant, smoother, and it has a very much a spa-like feel to it, and it's very cooling, and I'm gonna put it on the back of my neck um, because it does cool for, even after you've done applying it. So it is a very nice hydrating spa-like experience in a bottle. Now, if you are oily in a humid environment, you, my friend, have won the jackpot, and you're like, what is she talking about? Because you don't need to moisturize. You can skip the moisturizer altogether Actually, adding moisture to your oily skin in a humid environment is going to poof, cause your face to break out. So skip the moisturizer altogether. All you need in the morning is a vitamin C and an SPF. And the ones that I like are actually the Silymarin CF by SkinCeuticals because it has salicylic acid in it, which is oil loving. So it's going to help regulate that for you. If you don't want to break your bank, you can get Timeless. 10%, 20%. 10 if you are sensitive, 20 if you want to go wrong and strong. Anything above 20% is useless. You do not need it. And then you use sunscreen. So I'm going to just give a little bit of sunscreen favorites for oily slickers in an oily environment. I recently came across the Super Goop Play Body Mousse. Yes, it's for the body, but you can definitely use it on your face. And the reason I love this is because although it is a mousse, right, it goes on and disappears relatively dry. You don't feel like you have something tacky, sticky on your face, and it is 
really nice, especially if you're oily. Number two, my colleague made this sunscreen. I am not incentivized to promote him other than the fact that I love him, I adore him, I respect him, and I know he put his heart and soul into this, but this is Lightsaver. It is a tinted mineral sunscreen. It appears creamy, right? But it is actually a matte finish and great for people who have oily skin. This is one that once you put it into your skin, it dries off pretty dry. It does disappear. He only has one tint at the moment because self-made man, small brand, we understand. We are patient nerds and it dries really nice. But if you tell me I don't like that creamy feeling because I don't want to feel my sunscreen, which a lot of people do tell me, RMS launched their own mineral sunscreen as well in different tints and it is very lightweight and watery. So this is also another tinted sunscreen for oily skin in an oily environment. And with that, we did it in 11 minutes. I got four minutes to spare. Shall we see the disaster that is my head? I feel like I should put hairspray first. Bear with me for the grand reveal. Holy moly. All right, mom. I kid you not, 10 years ago she bought me these. I don't know how the hell I found them in the move. I feel like you should take the ones on the top of your head. Ow. Woo! I look like Shirley Temple. Okay, this might be a real disaster for an event. Okay, my kids are screaming. God bless the nanny. Being a mom is hard, man. Being a mom who runs a business with the social and who sees patients is like, huh. Watch the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, oops. Oh, there's my daughter. Did you guys watch the Arnold Schwarzenegger um, documentary? You can complain all you want. No one cares. So just keep going and do what's best for you and your family. And don't feel bad for yourself or pity yourself in the process. Okay, that's a wild one. All right. We're getting to the big tamale, which is the top of the head. This is where it's do or die. This is the most stressful Pillow Talk Germ Saturday I've ever recorded in the history of Pillow Talk Germs. To think that I started this when I had COVID in my bedroom. All right, grand reveal, guys. Let's pull this sucker out. Do we look like a Pantene Pro T, whatever, Pro V commercial? Ooh, I look like I belong with the Dixie Chicks or something. Je ne sais pas, but something is happening and we're going to have to fix this situation. So anyway, have a beautiful Saturday and I will see you guys next week.